How do you defend speed? Right, right. Like it's a lot of schematic things that can can be done, of course. But like, what what do you do if, if the team's just generally faster than what you're kind of accustomed to seeing? Uh, I would say run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, in the back end, running and just being over top of all the routes so, and having <coughs> players. Um, that's what I would say. Can you take us back through the, the last play of the Ohio State game again and then what was going through your mind when you went on the field and then kind of the euphoria of the moment afterwards? I would say uh, right before they came out, I was telling the guys up front they got to get to the quarterback for us because um, it'll make it a, a harder throw for them. And uh, I, guess, I think they got those, I want to say, two or three completions right before they threw the interception. And uh, it was like that review after they touched the ball out. And I thought it was a fun coming up, incomplete. And I was like, oh. Honestly, when I walked back out there, it was like 30 seconds. I was like, oh, yeah. Like, it had to be. Somebody had to stop the play right now. Or it might not look too good. And uh, I saw the two receivers, the two star receivers over to my left. And they were running a, a route concept called Watch Me Double D the whole entire time. As soon as it moved across my face, I knew Marvel was coming in. I looked and I saw him break in, and I looked back and I saw the ball short. I just saw it. And I was like, oh yeah. Did you know Jalen had hit him or after the fact? Or? I thought it was Mason because when I was running, I saw Mason standing there because everybody was telling me it was Jalen. And that's the guy I was really telling when my friends initially said you got to get to the quarterback. <coughs> and did, so. How do you think the team, the players, handled the all the distractions over the second half of the season? Coach Harbor not getting suspended and all the rest. Well, I think we handled it really good. We always had a one-track mind. That's what we call one-track mind, just keeping the focus where it is. And um, I think it really helped when, at the beginning of the season, when he wasn't there, I think it was the first three or four games, and uh, Coach Moore and all the other coaches got a chance to be head coach. And uh, when it was random out of nowhere, when he got taken from Penn State, um, when Coach Moore stepped up, I think it was just, like, it really wasn't any change. It was like Coach Harbaugh says to us, make the next man up as a player. And it was like, make the next man up as a head coach. And Coach Moore came in and did what he was supposed to do. And it really didn't, to me, it didn't feel like a, a change. Have you been back to Ohio since the game? You know, I went back you know, last week before we came out. No, for Christmas, I was back. What's the mood down there? And, uh, and I mean, when you go back there, I mean, you got this big love. Yeah, all my family keeps telling me, like, they're happy and mad on that day. Like, started crying because I caught it, but then they were mad because Ohio State lost, but I was just like, it was crazy, honestly, like, just walking past people. Like, some people recognized who I was and asked me to take a picture, but some people were just like, you know, like, yeah, that's what you did against Ohio State, but I was just like, I felt good being back at home. Has your life changed since that play? Um, just a lot more attention and um, maybe NIL opportunities came my way uh, that I never had before. What's it mean to be three and zero against Ohio State? A lot, especially being from Ohio. And uh, I just remember, I always remember this every day, or every time we beat them. When I committed to Michigan, and signed that all my friends and family told me that I would never beat Ohio State, and I told them if we went to when I went to Michigan, we'd never lose to Ohio State. And so far, that's true. So it just feels really good. Obviously, three and zero against Ohio State, but hoping to not be zero and three in, in those college football playoffs. That and follow those. Um, what 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 sort of the, the tenor, or like the, the mood in the locker room? I think you guys were described the first time. It was happy to be here last year. You guys were, a lot of people were saying sort of a business trip, and, but Jim sort of changed practice, I guess, this year. What is the the mood and the vibe this time? I think it's, excuse me. I think it's also a business trip this year. And uh, just more so like, we can't come here three times in a row. That's just not a good look. And uh, 
I think just everyone's more hungry on both sides of the ball, even on special teams. Everyone's just so dialed into everything that we have to do to be able to win this game. So I think that's what's so much different about this team than it was last year. What's one thing 